Welcome back to another delivery review. Before you leave, look what's coming up. So as you can see there, what's coming up. And this week we are, I know, back to Burger King, although that's a bit of an old bit of footage there, but still. Um, first of all, welcome to all the new subscribers. And finally, finally, I know it's taken a while, 200 subscribers. I know short videos, food reviews, it's never going to be Mr. Beast, but I appreciate every single person that subscribed. And I think we're now to 201 or 202 even. So yeah, back to Burger King. But I just thought, you know what? And as a certain hamburger uh, pointed out, that yes, there are a lot of hamburgers in the world, um, but I haven't done, and since it's 200 subscribers even, um, I haven't done the Bacon Double Cheese XL. So I thought, you know what, I used to love this. It was almost too much. Um, this was years and years ago now saying that. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'd go back. Let's try the Bacon Double Cheese XL, plus these two others, fries and onion rings. The fries this week, because the driver couldn't find <laughs> couldn't find a house again, um, even though it's literally pinpointed on the Deliveroo's app, but again, couldn't find it. So the chips, I can't fault them. The chips are good, the box is good, um, but they were just almost on the verge of going cold and, and kind of soft. So the fries were still, you know, semi-decent, but they, they were verging on going to holes, which was different. Definitely disappointing, what I was trying to say. Um, as you can see there, onion rings, double cheese XL fries. I didn't want to be a complete fat pig this week. Um, I am actually trying to lose weight as well as doing reviews. So fries you saw a minute ago and onion rings, which were on the last video as the share box. Onion rings are really good. Um, they're nothing over the top. They're, they're nothing, you know, out of this world, but they're like pub, or at least they've got the taste and the smell of, of pub onion rings. Um, not so much deep fried, but with a, a breadcrumb coating, but, and it's not not actually full onion rings it's I think it's I don't know what the word is but processed onion kind of chopped onion um, that gets formed into onion rings but they are quite nice the sauce that I had there was the I think it's the it's, I forget now what it's called the chili mayo um, or spicy mayo and, and it's quite nice to be fair it's got quite a bit of a kick to it it's a bit like a sriracha mayo um, not quite a Frank's but either way <laughs> And I'm not saying this is a disappointment review, but look, look at that. I mean, advertised versus reality. I remember, I swear, I remember these bacon double cheese XLs being bigger. Like you can see there, it fits into into my four fingers. They, they were bigger than, I swear, they were bigger than that. And the price has gone up, £8.89 or something, or £8.49 on its own. Mind blowing. Not really that much bacon that you can see there. There used to be more bacon on them. I'm, I'm, I'm not just saying this. I am a hundred percent sure the bacon double cheese XL used to almost nail me. Like you, you couldn't. You were on the last few bites. It was like this is a lot. The the burgers are thinner. I'm I'm pretty sure, and the width of the whole burger, or, or you know, in itself with the bun is is, is smaller. I can't, I literally can't prove it because obviously I didn't take a picture. And this was way before COVID. Um, the bacon double, he's like even there just holding it. I think it's almost like a, a triple cheeseburger from McDonald's, but just slightly bigger. I think the Whopper's even white, we might be the same width as that. But the burgers are definitely thinner burgers. The, the quarter pounder burgers from McDonald's definitely are thicker. So it's just, it's shrinkflation again as well. It, you know, it's a nice burger. And if you want something substantial, it's definitely substantial, but it just is, I'm sure it isn't what it used to be. And it's really gutting because I, I honestly, I thought, you know what, no, not just a subscriber, but um, Bacon Double Cheese XL, haven't done it before, let's do this. And it is a nice burger. Like it's, it's a, you know, as I put on a comment uh, on the community is, is, will I finish it? And yeah, I did finish it, but it wasn't as much as it was. The burger's nice, the extra cheese is nice. Um, the bacon was a little bit lacking, the bun was okay, but a little bit squashed. So overall, it wasn't that good. The ratings, I think, reflect that. Seven out of 10, eight out of 10 for the fries, they were fine, and nine out of 10 for the onion rings. So again, a good meal. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the subscribers, and we'll be on to the next one next week.